Okay, so for this problem, we're talking about plain strain. I have some box here, which is a one by two box. So we have some diagonal here, and we want to know what the total strain is under these axial strains. We have strain in the X, strain in the Y, and I like to call this some kind of tilt. But gamma XY really represents shear strain. So it's kind of tilted like I have this dotted line right here. Essentially, um, I have some infinitesimal box by dx by dy with a slope of, um, or a diagonal length of ds. If I want to know what the actual strain is in that direction, the normal strain in that direction, I do change in that diagonal over the total diagonal. I calculate what that is for if I elongate in the x direction, if I elongate in the y direction, or if I tilt, if I have some shear strain. I add those up together, do some trigonometry, and I get the formula. And you could spend some more time on that. Go ahead and rewind, fast forward, to, so you could figure out that if you want. But anyway, this is a pretty simple type of problem. Mostly just plug and chuck. So I have my values, I have my equation. That's literally all I have to do. Let me go through and explain what each of these variables mean. So I have my strain in the x1 direction. What's the x1 direction? That's the direction that's desired. And what the angle is is something you're going to have to calculate. But that's the angle that we put in here, is our desired angle. Now, our desired angle is with reference to our um, x-axis. That's our theta. So we'll give you some trigonometry to figure that out in a second. But the point is, is I, I measure it from the x-axis, my theta equals zero. When theta equals zero, that's where these are valid. That's where these come from. I plug in the values for my normal strains and my shear strain. I put in the angle that I want to know my new strain at, and I get my answer. So I could tell if these are the same, if I average them, it's going to be the same. I could tell if I do, since these are the same, this minus this is going to be zero, so the whole term goes to zero. Plug in negative 0 0.001 radians, divided by two. I got sine of two theta. I'm actually going to pull a trick here. Sine of two theta divided by two. I'll put the identity here. Sine of two theta divided by two equals sine theta times cosine theta. So I might even have to find out what the angle is since I know the dimensions of my box. I have sine theta gives me, this is be root five, sine is one over, opposite over hypotenuse, one over root five. Cosine is 2 over hypotenuse. So I didn't even have to calculate my angle there. Kind of nice. Okay. Plug that into my calculator. And I get negative 0 0.0003. And what's the units of strain? Nothing, so I'm good. And that's that problem.